All right, let's do it. With feelings of self-doubt, do you find yourself prone to minimizing massive dilemmas or for allowing the smallest problems to get blown completely out of proportion? At the Pierce Institute, our patent pending Somnosculpt technology provides safe and effective dream therapy while you rest in the comfort of our flagship clinic. Located right next to the secondary overflow parking lot at the University Medical Center. Somnosculpt will make your dreams come true. Okay. I, I don't know what to expect from this. Ah, oh. <laughs> that was clever. <laughs> what a great way to start. <laughs> oh, that's jump. Oh, I just signed it. Okay. How, can I zoom? I don't know if I can zoom. I don't know what I just signed. Okay. Oh, the door opened. There goes my soul, that's it, it's gone, it's gone. Perception is reality, grab. Okay. Do you want me to keep it? Oh, good lord. A to jump. Can I grab that? Oh, I can. Oh, wait. Eh? Wait. Oh wait, this got bigger as well? First air of the day. <laughs> but that's small. Maybe it didn't get bigger. Maybe it was just bigger. Okay, I'm, I'm already confused. Let's just keep going. Yeah, this is, this is immediately giving me um, vibes of Portal and um, Stanley Parable, and I'm very much okay with that. <laughs> Terms of service accepted. Congratulations on falling asleep. Welcome to Somnasculpt. Your progress may be monitored by qualified specialists. This orientation will adapt you to eyelids, our interactive, lucid induction dream state in which you retain full consciousness and control. Okay, so we're in a dream. Are you genuinely going into this blind? This is such a mind fuck if so. I am indeed. This is completely blind. I don't know. I don't even know what the... I, I, all I knew was that it was a puzzle game and it was recommended. Um, Thank you, Lord Mar, for the 44 months. But we, we don't need the controller cam, right? Should I get rid of the controller cam? Do you guys think... So I'm guessing. So it seems like we're in a in a dream, an induced dream. Looks beautiful, 4K by the way. <laughs> yeah, we don't need it. All right, we'll get rid. There we go. All right. So hold left shoulder button to rotate. Okay. How come I can't see the letters from behind? Uh, right. So we got chess pieces. Oh my god. It was so big and now...
Okay, so I need I need to work out what's going on. Because it feels like the the like the further away I am, if I if I grab this now and then move it, I feel like it's gonna be really small. There we go. Okay. So the, it's it's the size that whatever it's just the size of whatever it is when I'm looking at it. Look at it, it's tiny. <laughs> and then yeah, if if it's bigger, if like if I make it bigger in my field of vision. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. I get it. This is going to be an absolute. Yeah. No objects beyond this point at all times. Is this like a portal thing where it just dissolves? You can't even get it. Oh my god, it's tiny. It's t <laughs> Wait. Ha <laughs> ha! Heavy, heavy small cube. I need to get up there. Oh my god, it's so small. Hmm. I feel like I made it the tiniest bit bigger, but it's not big enough. Okay, let's go. Wait. No, I need to be. I'm trying to figure. I'm trying to figure it out now. I'm trying to figure out what I need to do. <laughs> so I want it there, and then. No, that's made it smaller. So if I wanted it smaller I needed to grab it and then put it close so if I want it bigger I've got to grab it close and like put it over there all right there we go there we go I just it just took me a bit of time to work that out in my head <laughs> Confirmed. You can move freely, interact with surrounding objects, and listen to messages from your patient care team. Please note that I am the standard orientation protocol, and that my voice has been explicitly chosen to remind you that I am not a part of your patient care team. I do not care. <laughs> this is very portal GLaDOS reminiscent. Oh, that's an absolute... Can I do something with this? <laughs> it's huge! It's absolutely massive! <laughs> oh, these games, are, these type of games are so good. I'm sorry in advance for any frustrations, but you know, you just gotta, you just gotta let me do it. And I just put it straight on there. All right. 
That was straightforward. Thank you, Man Like Moon, for the three months. What is this game? Well, I'm finding that out too. Hold left shoulder button to rotate. I remember that. Ooh! Okay, I can't rotate it anymore. I think I wrote I think I rotated it too much so then I need to go close <laughs> it's it's so big not big enough yeah during eyelids you will lose the ability to awaken suddenly due to realizing that this is a dream evidence I have already informed you that this is a dream you did not wake up Fair, Please fair, complete fair point. the remaining orientation activities. Okay. This is just orientation. <laughs> what a what a smart idea for a game like already. Dream Soda. Warning, you have deviated from the orientation pathway. At the Pierce Institute, patient safety is a keynote in our corporate priority tetrahedron. A variable degree of force can and will be authorized to ensure patient safety. Please return to the orientation pathway. A variable degree of force. I'm gonna go for random soda. I want a big soda. Big soda! Yes! Oh wait, is this where I came in? Oh, can I not put the soda in there? Disappointing. Uh, right. There we go. Thank you, Soda. <laughs> it feels like there's some issues that are being had. Environments perceived during eyelids should reflect a typical mental state. If you believe your mental state was compromised by Somnasculpt, please provide a comprehensive rational explanation in your post-procedural survey. Completed surveys may be eligible for a gift card. <laughs> really no objects beyond this point at all times. Haha! <laughs> No items, video surveillance. <laughs> People without items beyond this point will be fine. Funded by Mothers Against Items. 
People beyond this point with objects will be fined. Oh, fine and fined. Okay. Suspension of dream license up to one year. Fines from one lost night of sleep to four. Thank you for not objecting. I mean, you need the item to do it in the first place. Okay. <laughs> I like how um, we're, we're saying, you know, you guys are saying in the chat, the, 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 wait. Wait, what? <laughs> okay. I was just about to say, uh, you guys are saying in the chat how uh, starting off with Porto and then Stanley Parable comes in here and now we come in with Antichamber. God, I remember playing Antichamber. I loved that. I just bought it. I bought it on a whim. And I, I had so much fun with it. I found it quite difficult. But I enjoyed it so much getting to the end. It didn't take me too long, I suppose. Like 10, 11 hours or something. Does this button do the same thing? No, it doesn't. Wait. Oh, this button opens that opens that one. Uh, Lathama with the 872 bits. This is great. I love non-GTA nights. Yeah, man. Ah. Uh... Of course. Yeah, non-GTA nights are the best. When we play stuff like this. Thank you for the 872 bits. Thank you, Embler, for the 18 months as well. Okay, so I can't choose that. Hmm. Did I come in from there? I did, right? Huh. Oh, okay. I, I, I figured it out. <laughs> I'm not thinking with portals. Tricky to get to grips with, like. Oh my god. I like how it still it still lights up <laughs> as if it was here. All right, there we go. There we go. Now we're now we're getting it. Please stand by for polite recognition on your completion of the Somna Sculpt orientation. You did it. To maximize the time allotted for your therapeutic journey, please do not delay in proceeding through the final doorway as indicated. Alternatively. Okay. Things have taken a bit of a turn. Right, 
Rinderbrot with the 48 months. Thank you for the, uh, the the four years, man. What is this? Yeah, whoa. We're going to find out. So, does it want me to, like, put the cheese so that I can sneak through there? Okay, that's making it smaller. I need to... There we go. I can't rotate it, though. Surely that's not what you're meant to do. an exit sign I can pick up <laughs> all right let's try Not close enough. Now it's going to be too small, probably. Can I put the cheese through here or something? That is a big cheese. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's the way to go. I don't think I don't think that's what we need to do. Like the fact that I can pick this up as well. I mean that was above the door. Can't really place that, or at least it doesn't let me. <laughs> yeah, I've got an infinite supply of food to survive, that's true. Again, this is where um this is where the 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 challenge comes in from a viewer perspective. Of, of being able to watch and not lose your mind that I'm not um, that I'm not getting it <laughs> there's got to be something I'm missing like the fact that this moved off like I can't grab anything else Thank you, Lathama, for the 301 bits. Talking of non-GTA nights, I helped fund a game on Kickstarter, so we'll send you a Steam key when the release. It should be up your street. Okay, cool. Looking forward to it. Okay. I only know what you should do because I've seen it before, wouldn't get it otherwise. I think we're just as oblivious as you. I suppose, yeah, there's, um, there's, th there's the dif definite distinction between those who've seen it or played it before and those, you know, who haven't and completely blind. It doesn't feel like there's any other way out.
than this. Like this, this moved for a reason. Like you know, game design 101 type of thing. You know, the fact that this lent back. But it feels like it's, it's, it's not. It's not right to be trying to jump through there with the cheese. Then I can get a cheese, and I can get an exit sign. Can I get anything else? No. Can I put like the cheese on the other side and like bash it or something? Okay, I got the cheese on the other side. I don't know what that does to help me. <laughs> Watch me like lock myself out of being able to do anything. Does it make a noise when it's like... It's just getting smaller. Okay, the difficulty has significantly ramped up. <laughs> oh! 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 Bollocks! Cheese, come back! Okay, the trick is... <laughs> I was just gonna say that the trick is to uh, to, to get it in between because it looks like this is moving. <laughs> but now I was hoping that it would just drop and like knock it down. Can I use the exit sign to, to push it or something? No. I feel like this isn't, this isn't, no. Well, this definitely moves. So that's something. I want, I want a big, I want big cheese. How did I do that before? <laughs> like, it's got to be small enough. Uh, to be able to get in this gap. This feels like... I want to help out, but I was also stuck at this point, and this is just funnier. <laughs> it's, 
it's it's the thing is it's a classic puzzle game and as soon as as soon as we as soon as I get it it'll be like oh that was so obvious Do these move? As well. Oh my god, it's tiny. <laughs> yeah, I, I, it's been said in the chat by the mods many times, but as always, no backseat gaming with, with this sort of stuff. I want to be stuck for as long as I'm stuck. Uh, and I want to figure it out myself. Your help is not actually wanted. <laughs> I feel like the wedge, the wedge situation is not the right way to do it. What happens if I make the exit sign massive? Is that going to help me in any way? Can I wedge that in somehow? I don't think so. Is worth a try. <sighs> I mean, this definitely moved. I'm sure it did. Yeah, I'm done. I'm going back. I'm leaving. Does that have anything to do with wedging anything? Can I make a big cheese? And then put the exit sign on it. We're gonna be here all night. We're gonna be just on this one level all night. 
It's ne we're never going to progress beyond this. This is it. We're here now. The payoff when you do it is going to be excellent. Well, we might see it before the end of the stream, but I wouldn't hold your breath. <laughs> oh my god. There's got to be something, like, obvious that I'm missing. There was a cheese and exit sign here. This popped itself back. <sighs> the RTX 3080 that you want will be back in plentiful stock by the time you do this. <laughs> oh my god. I, 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 this is why I hate playing puzzle games on stream. Like, I like puzzle games. But then if I can't get it, then I'm conscious that there's, like, what, 200 of you now watching who probably all know exactly what to do and I'm the dumb idiot who doesn't know what he's doing. And then that makes me not able to do it even worse. There's the popcorn. <sighs> I'm like... I'm trying to think everything that I've learned so far with making things big and making things small. And how that would possibly help. What if, um, I tried just going through it. Oh, that's a shame. <laughs> I was hoping I could just walk straight through and it was like, going to be that obvious. What if I walk through it holding the exit sign? No. You're not going to give me that either. Okay, fine. It appears the bricks are made out of bricks, yeah. That's unfortunate. That's actually better than the real solution in terms of mindfuck. <laughs> Can I just make a massive exit sign? You've got to be kidding me. I can't, I can't believe. Because the bloody thing moved as well. Why didn't I think to just... I didn't even like I just that was just by chance that that even happened oh my god <laughs> and that's that's how we get out huh okay <laughs> tutorial done Thank you, Hammer, for the 10 gift subs. Made it out. Made it out alive. I can't believe... I can't believe that that was... That was it. 
Could I have knocked down any of these walls? Like, apart from the one that's... Oh, my days. <laughs> the only one you can't knock down is the one that it actually makes fall. I was working on the wrong one all this time. Walking through the bricks with the exit sign was a more elegant uh, answer than this. <laughs> I do not believe that that was all you had to do. All right. Lesson learned. Sometimes don't try to overcomplicate it. Lothama with 100 bits, not sure which is funnier. The cheese puns in chat are Bruff's mind trying to work it out. <laughs> Alright, we're out. Oh. Oh. 